Sella is at the carnival again, but she is far away from the rides. What are you doing here, Sella? Aha! Sella is here to buy special things from different parts of the world. Let's go shopping with her. Sella has stopped at the India stall to buy some saffron. Saffron is expensive, so Sella is buying a small quantity. Look at what the shopkeeper is using to measure the small mass of saffron. The shopkeeper is using a balance. Do you know what a balance is? Well, an instrument used to measure mass is called a balance. This is a type of balance used for measuring mass. It has two pans attached to a beam and so it is called a beam balance. In a beam balance, we measure the mass of an object by balancing it with known weights. Now, Sella wants to buy sweet juicy apples from the United States. Sella is buying apples for her entire family. Can you tell what the shopkeeper is using to measure the mass of apples? If you said beam balance, you are absolutely right. Well done. Beam balances come in different sizes. Small beam balances are used for weighing small things coins and ornaments, while larger ones are used for weighing objects such as logs of wood and sacks of grains. Sella next stops to buy delicious rice from China. Look at the balance that the shopkeeper is using to measure the mass of rice. In this balance, the pans used for keeping things to weigh and the known weights are above the beam. This is also a kind of beam balance and is called a double pan balance. Now, Sela moves to the stall from Brazil. She wants to buy a box of world famous coffee beans from Brazil. Observe the balance that the shopkeeper is using to weigh the box of coffee. This is a spring balance. The balance is suspended from a ring. The object to be weighed is suspended from the hook. This hook pulls the spring and makes the pointer move on a scale from where we can read the mass of the object. A spring balance can have a vertical scale or a circular scale as shown here. Sella now wants to buy some dates from Egypt. Watch the balance that the shopkeeper is using to weigh the dates. This is a spring balance and is called a compression balance. The object to be weighed is placed in the pan that compresses a spring. This action makes a pointer move on a scale from where we can read the mass of the object. There are many kinds of compression balances. They are used to weigh different kinds of things and even newborn babies. The machines that we use to measure our own weight are also compression balances. Sella has her hands full, but she wants to buy one last item, the mouth-watering grapes from Italy. Look at the balance that the shopkeeper is using to weigh the grapes. He is using an electronic balance. It works as a compression balance, but the mass is shown on an electronic display like the one we see in a calculator. 
There are different kinds of electronic balances that can measure very small and very large masses more accurately than all other kinds of balances. Sella bought quite a number of things today and we learned about the different types of balances. Next time you go shopping, watch the different kinds of balances being used to weigh things around you. Have fun!